Hey, I'm Candace, a food and lifestyle journalist who loves juicy stories, especially over cocktails. There's something about a great drink that makes people pour out their soul, and bartenders are all too familiar with that. And he goes, hey, like, she's really pretty over there. He's like, but I don't really talk to girls. Like, what am I supposed to do? So I'm hitting the road, talking to bartenders near and far, listening to what they have to say. I'm in America's birthplace, Philadelphia, PA, at historic McGillan's Old Ale House. Known as the Otis Bar in Philly, it's an obvious choice for great stories and great drinks. I'm meeting with their charming bartender, Nate, and I can't wait to hear what he has to share. My shift, like, I just got punched in the head, so. How's it going? Hey Candace, how you doing? Good to see you. Likewise, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. What do we have here? That is the Irish potato martini, uh, based on a dessert uh, that kind of, it look, there's nothing potato or really Irish about it, but it, except the physical dessert resembles a potato slightly, but it's like okay. a donut hole of a cinnamon roll uh, with coconut and cream cheese is how the dessert goes. Uh, so this is a, uh, Malibu rum, a coconut milk, vanilla vodka, uh, with a cinnamon sugar rim, and it's almost like a Cinnabon in a glass, is the way I like to think of it. You had me at Cinnabon. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> with a, yeah, I think slightly fewer calories, but, Oh, yeah. well, even better. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, only slightly, yeah. Uh, it smells divine, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> So as I'm sipping on this, can you tell me a little bit about McGillan's? Yes, McGillan's Old Ale House is the oldest bar in the city of Philadelphia, fifth oldest in the United States. Been here since 1860, so that's 158 years. Founded by uh, the McGillan, William and Catherine McGillan, uh, were Irish immigrants who left during the potato famine. And they did what a lot of Irish people did back then and opened a bar. Still family owned and operated in 160 years, it's had four different owners. They're still very hands-on, like, you know, there's a family member here every day of the week to, great, great. yeah, keep an eye on things, and yeah, so it's their house, so yeah. Uh, very cool. Yeah, so here we are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you've been in their house for about five years That's or right, so? yes. Okay. And, uh, yeah, and I love it. It's a wild place. It's, okay. never, it's never the same day twice. It's a place where people come to have fun. Mm -hmm. It's let loose. The, they, there's karaoke two nights a week. There's an open mic two nights a week. It's just a, one of those good time, fun, rowdy places. Yeah. Every now and then the fun gets a little too rowdy. The stadium is nearby yes. here, right? Yeah. Philadelphians love their sports. Uh, of course. As, the, I mean, the Eagles especially yes. uh, are everyone's favorite team. And last year was a very, very big year for us. Naturally. Absolutely. <laughs> um, um, after the birds beat the Vikings to go to the Super Bowl, yep. uh, the NFC Championship game, like this place was mobbed and everybody. I can imagine. Yeah, it's bonkers. Just, yeah, just, yeah. But like I said, everyone good time, happy mood because because we're going to the Super Bowl for the first time ever. Uh, but our door guys are kind of spread out around the perimeter of the room, keeping an eye on stuff. And uh, these two dudes started pushing and shoving and woofing at each other right in the middle of the room. I look for my door guys. I look through the mass of humanity in between the fight and my door guys. I'm like, well, there's no way they're getting here before you know this gets any worse. Right, right. And it's one of those situations you need to nip it in the bud immediately because it's gonna. This is the episode. It's gonna, it's yeah, gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. Me and my buddy for the first time ever had to physically hop over the bar what? just to in pull the these dudes are to pull these dudes apart. Like, hit the, my buddy dude was fine. He's like, yeah, he started yeah. just just get him away from me. The guy I got uh, left with. Uh, He's in the middle of a fight. He doesn't know who's pulling pulling him, so he right. thinks somebody's about to, you know, hurt like him. Like sock him or yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah, so he just turns around without even thinking and just socks me right in the face. No. Knocks my glasses off. I'm like, I, I can't oh, see him. My glasses are going to get trampled. I got three hours left in my shift. Like, I, I just got punched in the head. So, yeah. Uh, so it's just like, all right, man, I got I still got I got three hours in a busy bar to make drinks. There definitely needs to be more bartenders like you who will, who's, like, willing to take one for the team, like, literally. Um, It's kind of like a prerequisite. Yeah. Depending on where you are, yeah. right? Yeah. If getting punched in the face gets me more Super Bowls, I'll do I'll, I'll, I'll do it all day long. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Absolutely. Why yeah. not? So get ready for some more. Let's later go. This yeah. Year. Let's go, Burtz. <laughs> this is so perfect, and I'm going to need another one. Done. I'm pretty sure. I can do that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> hey there. 
we're gonna make McGillan's signature Irish potato martini. So, one shot of Malibu, coconut rum, one shot of vanilla vodka, a little bit of coconut milk, Shake it like there's no tomorrow. When you think you've shaken it enough, keep shaking it. And then we slowly strain it. That is cinnamon sugar around the rim of the glass there. So you get a little bit of flavor in every sip. And we'll top it off. A little bit of shredded coconut there for taste and for texture. And all you gotta do now is enjoy it.